Hello there, welcome to Just Draft. In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you on how you can add a focus effect on a photo in Photoshop. So like this image, from this image to this image, as you can see, I add some blurriness here and I add focus on the girl. So we are going to do that. And also I'm going to link this image on the description so you can practice along with the tutorial. So without further ado, let's get started. So open your Photoshop. Once it's open, click the open so you can, or you can go to file, under file, you can open and you can go to the image where you save it. So click open and navigate to the folder where you save the image and click on it and click open. Once it's open, press Ctrl-0 to fit on, on the screen. Now we are going to add the effect. Go to Filter, under Filter, click on the Blur Gallery, then Iris Blur. Once you've done that, it will show this uh, option of Blur. You can drag this to a point where you want to start the the clarity of the image, the outside of the ellipse uh, displays the blurriness of the image and what's inside is the one that is clear. And you can also drag these points where the blur starts. You can drag it there and you can resize the ellipse and rotate it. Can resize this this way and you can move this you can adjust the, the point also by the single point by pressing alt and move it there or you can move this you can add more blurriness on the outside of the ellipse by clicking on this and adjusting it clockwise as you can see it adds a blur on the outside of the ellipse now we, it's it's okay now you can add also a clarity or a point of blurriness here by clicking on it and you can adjust it and move you can add the blurriness on the outside also can go click this and edit the previous one and resize it and reduce the blurriness once it's okay then you can click okay or you can press m hold the m so that you can see the which part is blurriness outside of this black that means it's blurred and uh, what's inside is more clear so you can press m for that you can uh, finalize this by clicking on it or you can save mask to channel so when you have another photo to edit you can apply this effect so once you check you check on that and click ok now we are going to save the image go to file under file save as then make sure you change this into jpeg and rename it edited and click save make sure you choose maximum so it will give you the HD quality image and click OK now we are going to compare the image so this was the before and this is the after so I hope this video tutorial helps you and if you've gone through the tutorial and find difficulties, don't forget to comment below so I can assist you and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.